The argument that Justice Scalia embraced in a noteworthy 1989 Law Review article is that it was important and valuable to have a default rule so the courts weren't always trying to figure out right at the beginning, what do we do with this statute? Is this a statute that calls for us to defer to the agencies or not? He emphasized that Chevron was not by any means constitutionally mandated. He believed that there was value in having a clear rule up front for Congress to choose to depart from if it wanted to, to for the courts to have a clear rule to apply in reviewing agency action. And he thought at the time that it was more consistent with the reality of the administrative state. He believed in a very robust Chevron doctrine and as the court eviscerated Chevron, he became much less comfortable with what was left. Justice Gorsuch, as Judge Gorsuch, expressed a view of Chevron and of judicial deference to administrative agencies generally that is different in fundamental respects from Justice Scalia's view. It's much closer to positions that Justice Thomas has expressed, very skeptical of judicial deference. Courts themselves should be saying what the law is, not delegating this duty to administrative agencies and then deferring to those agencies. This relies on a very um, uh, strong view of the uh, judicial duty to say what the law is. I think both Justice Scalia and Justice Gorsuch have expressed doubts about Chevron's uh, legitimacy. That has implications for their views of, of what Congress could do in the area and also of where the, the court might go. And so I think it's interesting to see how on the conservative side there is this real disparity in views on Chevron.